a big fishy hello everyone and welcome to prison architect it looks like it's starting itself so let's observe also i put my window right in this little section right here because there's information all around and i don't want you guys to miss any of the actual informational windows so i'm gonna be over here on the left side of the screen until whenever information moves or probably permanently for this game Okay, so I actually found this game on Steam and it looked interesting, wanted to buy it, figure I'll play it for you guys. It's a um, resource management game, so that's fun. I actually really enjoy resource management games. I'm curious to see how this one will work. Oh, we're not going to skip. Garbage, that is a mighty amount of garbage. I like his mustache. I didn't know I was playing Prison Architect! Actually, I did. Okay. Is this... That's fancy. I like this little... Oh, is this my prison? Cool! The CEO. Oh, I'm gonna cover up the picture. Apparently, I am the new CEO. This is a tough one. There's a prisoner incarcerated at this facility who's been convicted of a double murder and sentenced to death. That's where we come in. We've been contracted to construct an execution chamber in time for the guy's big day. They make that sound much happier than it really is. This is where I want the new facility to be built. The first step with any project like this is to construct the building itself with enough space inside to fit an execution room and a holding cell. Okay, so let's get started. Construct a new building here. We will also need an entrance to the new execution facility. Well, that makes perfect sense. A door, or build a large jail door into the south wall. Okay, so, foundation? Let's make it concrete. I like concrete. Okay. Objects. Oh, nuts. Nuts or what so? I'm gonna have to move my camera angle. Eh. Alrighty, here we go. Incoming call from the CEO. The workmen are responsible for the construction of buildings. They'll collect the steel and concrete from the storerooms and take it to the construction site. They'll use those raw materials to build the foundations and framework of your new building. This is the slowest part of construction, so you should plan ahead when building new facilities. While we wait, take a look around. Use the WASD or the arrow keys to move around, and use the mouse wheel to zoom in and out. Eh, eh, okay, eh, 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 okay. Okay, okay, okay. So we have a large outer wall, and it's like looks like there's an inner wall too. But then there's a door that goes to the outer wall. Inside that building, I want a cell and an execution room. Partition the space by constructing some brick walls. All right, brick wall. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Nope, that's it. That's all your brick walls. So now these guys move it? Yeah. Get to work, bitch! Do it! Do it! He's my, he's my bro. Oh, well, I can't see. Okay, let's try this spot. We're gonna keep moving around, seeing what we can figure out. Okay. So I wanted to click on somebody and it opens a window. Oh, okay. Hopefully I won't need these windows down here. Now add large jail doors to those dividing walls. You can rotate an object before placement by clicking the middle mouse button. Or press R. Yay. So I take that and I put... No, I put one there and... Okay, one there. So now they move it again. He's really carrying that wall by himself. Okay, so I can follow them. What can I do with these guys? Denning. Oh! Joyriding. Rioting. Criminal damage. Sentenced to one years for joyriding. Family. Wife. 34. Daughter. 4. Son. 7. Mother. 55. Oh, wow. This is very in-depth. Okay, so we're building our walls here. Wait, did I install it the facing the wrong way? Because that's not how it's... Oh, okay. Okay, it's just an animation. Well, I don't know if it's an animation glitch or not. 
That's looking good. Now we need to designate rooms within those spaces. Designate a cell in the smaller area where our condemned inmate will live. That's depressing. Then designate the execution room itself in the larger one. Okay. Execution. So I need to do this. Oh, it gives it tiles. That's cute. Okay. Those new rooms have requirements before they become functional. The cell needs a bed and a toilet. The execution room requires the electric chair. Oh, we're still doing that. Was this based in like the 1960s? But okay. I guess that's cool. Yeah, electric chair still being a thing. That's okay. Oh, can I speed up time over here? Yay! Run, 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 Do my chores, my minions. Okay. Who has my toilet? There you are. He must have gotten the toilet. He must have gone. He had to run to Home Depot to get the toilet. Okay. That's the essentials taken care of, but there are still a few improvements you could make. It's up to you, though. These aren't strictly required. It depends on how much you care about your prisoners and their environment. The cell itself could be improved with an outward-facing window and a small bookshelf. The facility could look better with a higher quality floor material, like wooden floorboards or mosaic tiles. Well, wooden floorboards are just great for cleaning up blood. Outside, you could add some lighting and a paved pathway if you think it needs it. Hi. Are you who I'm killing? This is the man in question, Edward Romsey. A teacher once. Would you believe? Okay. I, I guess I can believe. It's not our place to decide if he deserves this. The law has made that decision. We're just here to do the job, and a grim job it is. Once you're satisfied with the facility is ready, you can begin the prisoner transfer to his new cell. Simply click on the Polaroid in the cell to initiate his transfer. Okay, well, let's go fix this up a little bit. Let's go do this. Come on. Let's do it. 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 Let's make this the most wonderful and beautiful execution anyone has ever seen. Paving stone. Oh, that's for outside. Okay. Okay, great. Objects. Light. There we go. And window. And a bookshelf. Okay. Wait, materials. Is that where I get flooring stuff? Metal floor. Wooden floor. There we go. Now we speed up time. Do, 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 do. Yep. Whoa. What was that? Oh, do I see who's doing what when I hold? Okay. Where are you, fucker? Oh, there you are. Okay. Where's my bookshelf? Okay. And my lights are installed? Okay. I guess I'm good to go. Am I? Yep. It looks like everything's done. So there's a Polaroid? Oh, cash flow. I make some money, money. Who are you? I can't click on you. I can't even click on you. They don't actually exist. The chief. Well, what happened to the CEO? Fine. Interesting artwork. Don't shed one tear for this guy. He's a stone-called killer. Guilty as charged. He even confessed. Want to hear his description of what he did? It's juicy stuff. It was around 11 p.m. The lights were already on. I knew she was home. What the fuck? Okay. Oh no. Oh no. Okay. That's not good. I knew I'd catch you two here. Edward! I- Don't. Just don't. What are you 
going to do? Oh no. No, 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 no. That's not good. Oh! Oh, oh god. Right through the head. Yeah. Shit. Double murder, I'll say. Fuck. Fuck. I like the censoring. That's, uh, that's cute. Wait. From the, like, it looks like her body's really deformed from the way the sheets are curled right there. Like, that looks really fucking deformed. It's actually kind of funny. Oh no. Oh no. Clear as day, if you ask me. Deserves every volt he's gonna get. All men deserve forgiveness, even him. Are you so sure in yourself that you can deal out such final judgment? Catching your wife with another man is no excuse for what he did. And he went there with a loaded gun, knowing he'd find them together. That's double premeditated murder. He's done nothing but cooperate with the authorities. The state is making an example of him. If he'd committed his crime a hundred miles north, he'd be looking at life imprisonment instead. How is that justice? Do you want a guy like this running free? I'll sleep just fine at night when I know he's gone. Oh god. That raises the interesting moral directive of, uh, or dilemma of the life, the death penalty. And it's been long- SHUT UP! It's been long, uh, long discussed whether the death penalty is a good thing or a bad thing. And honestly, I, I'm on the fence about it myself. I mean, I, I don't know what to think about it. I really don't. I, I don't want to cast judgment myself because I know I'm not that final in my judgments. Good work so far. However, there is one problem. The execution room isn't fully functional yet, because it doesn't have any power. Well, that's a slight oversight! We need to connect it to the electrical supply. Great! That is a very mild oversight. I'm glad that we had that oversight and are just now covering it. You are now viewing the prison in utilities mode, which shows us the electrical wiring layout of the entire prison. Okay. Each building in the prison is connected to the power grid by these thick underground electrical cables. Great! Power is provided to the prison by the substation, which draws electricity from the national grid. It looks like it's using a decent amount of power. I don't know whether up is good or down is good. Okay. As you can see, this entire wing of prison cells is without power. All of the lights are out. Well, that's inconvenient. To fix this problem, we first need to switch into utilities mode to understand why the lights are without power. So there's no cables. The nearest electrical cables are too far away. Our engineers can't complete the wiring for this area. I extend the electrical cables nearby to cover this wing of the prison. Okay, so utilities mode, electrical cables, and then I go... Okay, so I wait, I wanna build all the way down here. So do I go... I think that's good. Okay, let's fast forward. Yeah! Go, my little minions! Okay. Okay? Oh, they gotta run and grab cables from down there? That's really ineffective that all my workers are stationed up here. Okay. They're doing a decent job. I mean, they're kind of building the ass end of it first, which seems to me a little backwards, but that's cool. Whatever they want to do. There's a spot missing here. Can they build in walls? I hope so. Well, they're building these ones. Yeah, it's coming. He's slow, but he's coming. There he is. What about you? Are you coming? Oh, it's that guy. Why, why does he got to go inside? What the fuck is he doing? What the fuck is he doing? Okay, I was like, where the hell are you going, sir? Okay, so there's that one. So where's this one? Apparently I missed one. Right click to cancel. Control left click to make high priority. Well, come on, then! Hey! Okay. Oh, CEO. 
Lights aren't the only thing that needs power. Your new electric chair does too. Using the power cables to connect the execution facility to the power grid. I already did that. The electric chair itself is a special type of electrical item. It requires its own dedicated power line. Ooh, excuse me, guys. You'll need to connect it up directly with main cables. But I thought I did that. Yeah, it's connected. Oh. We're almost done, I think. We should test this new execution room at least once before we try to use it, though. Pfft, why? I'm just going to turn it on for a few seconds to make sure everything is okay. Well, that's not good. Well, that didn't work. Looks like we drew too much power and tripped the circuit breaker and the power station. The whole prison is dark. We're going to need more juice to be able to handle this power spike that the electric chair generates. Okay. First, we need to turn the power back on. This is a two-step process. Switch the power station back on by clicking on it and selecting switch on in the menu that appears. Then build three more capacitors so we have enough power capacity to handle the electric chair. Once you've done that, test the electric chair again by clicking on it and select switch on in the main menu. Okay, so I want to do that. Switch on. And then I want to go to utilities and build three capacitors. One, two, three. And we'll fast forward. Come on, my little workers, build me some capacitators. Okay, that's one. Yay, where's my others? Where the fuck is everybody? Okay. Okay, so I guess they're there. Okay, so let's... Let's try this again. Switch on! Oh. Well done. I believe we are finished with this job. What happens now is out of our hands. We did a professional job, and that's important in our business. Try not to worry about what happens next. Um, someone dies? That's what happens next? Oh, a church. I wonder where this is. Oh, okay. Was that our killer? I guess it is, yeah. This is dark! I thought this was gonna be a cute, fun little resource management game, even in the story mode. And this is dark. Okay. Can I help you? Okay. Uh, d is this after the murder? Are you looking for forgiveness? I don't know. I have to do something. I can't live with the things I've done. This must be right after the murder. You have to turn yourself in. Whatever you've done, you cannot evade the consequences. You will never be able to live with yourself until you face up to your past. I won't go back. I want to forgive her. I want her to forgive me. God will forgive you, no matter what you have done, if you ask him to. But you must answer for your crimes in the eyes of the law. There is no other way. Okay. I have mixed feelings about this guy. It is time, Edward. You have done the right thing, even though this world will not forgive you for it. You will be with God soon, and he will have the final judgment on you. Yeah, well, electric chairs are pretty final, too, though. Yeah. Okay. Can I pan up? I want to see what's happening. There's some tape here or something. Polaroid. He stares at the electric chair. Longing for the sweet release of death. Um. Yeah, this has got to be based in like the 1960s or something. Because the electric chair obviously has been replaced with lethal injection. I'm pretty sure it's been that way since like 1990s or 1980s. Lethal injection has been a thing. I'm not exactly 100% sure when it came to be that way, but the electric chair was ruled as cruel because I think some people actually managed to survive with terrible burns. But they even have the hood yet, hooded executioner. This guy looks like he's just thrilled to be there. Edward Robsey, 
You have been found guilty of two counts of murder in the first degree. The penalty is death. Do you have anything to say? Susan, I'm sorry. Okay, you're sorry, I get it. The white screen. Flash! Ah! Saviors of the universe! Okay, so. I love me some black screens and some white screens. Oh, okay, chapter two. Palermo. 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 Palarara-ma-ma-ma-mo. palarara ma mo Oh, that. Oh, God. Oh, oh. There is a crisis brewing at one of our other facilities. Someone's starting a fire in the prison kitchen. The priority is to pull, put it out. God, I can't even talk. Stop any casualties and prevent more damage. Use the emergency services button in the toolbar and call for the fire brigade. Get this fire under control before it burns the whole prison down. Uh, emergency. Fire engine. Fire engine. Okay. Oh, I control them? To order your fireman to move there. Fireman will aim their hoses at any right age to. You guys go there. I guess you guys go here. Alright. Are my firemen moving? Oh gosh, they're slow. Eh. Eh. I don't want my prison to burn down. Yeah, put out that fire. Use them hoses. Oh god, that reaches pretty far actually. Pull back. Fireman. Pull back! You don't need to put out the fire that's right in front of you here. Okay, now your immediate surroundings are, dead, are safe, so you guys can just do whatever you want. They're doing a pretty good job. The water's just running everywhere, though. Gee, the power's out. There's a surprise. Oh, you're gonna get it. Put out the fire! 100% damage, that's what I saw that. Yeah, look at this guy, there's one more flame over here. Can we get that, please? Can we go over here and get the rest of us? Because I think they're doing a pretty good job of... Oh, there's a little fire yet. Right there, get that one. No, okay, now get this one. No, get this one. And this one. I think... Okay. My god, there's a survivor in the wreckage. Oh, he looks good. Christ on a crutch, it's Don Palermo. Of all the inmates, it just had to be our mob boss. Oh, that's cool. There's a mob boss? That's not good. The bad news for him is that budget cuts have meant we had to sack all our permanent doctors. Great! The good news is our infirmary is still usable. 
Hire a couple of doctors and they'll take care of Don Palermo while we, whilst we sort this mess out. Great! Um... We need to clear up this mess. Use the bulldoze tool to demolish the ruined canteen and kitchen. You need to remove all of the debris. Designated garbage zone adjacent to the road. Our workmen will dump the wreckage there so the garbage trucks can dispose of it. Finally, can you send those firemen home now that they've done their job? I've added more details on each of these objectives in your to-do list. Anytime you're unsure of what to do, highlight the objective and you'll see additional instructions. Great. Um, I'm actually going to end it there with just the first chapter for now. I'm having fun with this. This is pretty cool. It's a lot darker than I thought it was going to be, which is okay, also okay. You know, it, it happens. Um, yeah, so let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. Um, it's a really fun game. Like I said, I found it on Steam, but I think it's also available on consoles now. I think they just recently released a alpha test for consoles. But still, either way... It's a fun game, it's definitely dark, it's definitely a really, really nice little resource management game. Obviously, I've only gotten through the first chapter, but just from all the different icons, it looks like there's a lot that goes into this. So, it's really, really neat. Um, you guys should definitely check it out if you get the chance, if you like this kind of game. So, with that, I hope I see you all in the next video, and I'm going to go ahead and say my goodbyes.